goo. So me and Nasha can go and have a goo-filled balloon fight later. Great, eh? Oh, Dennis! It's school photo day. You have to stay clean. Stay clean? Me? Oh, yes, Dennis. I want Mum to have a photo of you looking absolutely sparkling. Upstairs, now. Morning, Mr. Um, Walter's dad. Listen, a uh, little favour. You know it's school photo day. Yes, of course. Walter's just had his 13th bath in preparation. He should be clean enough now. Well, after his shower, of course. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, um, I want Dennis to stay clean too. Uh, thing is, I've got to be rushing off to work now. Well, if Dennis goes to school on his skateboard, he'll get mucky. So, uh, could you take him to school along with Walter? <laughs> what, and have Dennis make a mess in my lovely car? Oh, no, 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 no. It won't do that. You're not going to get yourself <laughs> uh, messy, are you, Dennis? <laughs> <laughs> hey! Me? Get messy? No, of course not, Dad. <laughs> I'm warning you, Dennis. You better stay clean. If Mum doesn't like the photo, you're grounded for a month. A month? Just if I get dirty? <laughs> Well, that threat seems to have worked very well. Have him wait outside. We'll set off soon. <laughs> oh, thank you ever so much. You know, you, you, you really are too... <laughs> ...kind. Ah, <laughs> oh, Dennis. I see you've prepared for the school photo. Rather than smelling of an entire rubbish dump this morning, you only smell of a cow pat. Oh. Oh, oh Dennis, you appear to have some paint on you. Oh, no. Can't out menace a menace, Walter. I'm squeaky clean right now. I know it. No, 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 really. You have some paint on you right to... There. Huh? Ah! Walter! I could get grounded for a month! Oh, sorry, Dennis. I had no idea. You better wash that off then. Oh, don't worry. Dad won't leave until you're in the car with me. You're quite safe. So... <laughs> <laughs> Ah, oh, right, boys. Shall we... Wait, where's Dennis? Oh, he's in the car already, Father. Yeah, yeah jolly good. Quieter than usual, isn't he? <laughs> ah, hey, Walter! Wait! <laughs> oh, now how am I going to get to school? Outside any longer, I'm bound to get dirt on me. I can't help it. The only way I'm going to make it to school without getting mucky is if I take <laughs> the bus. The regimental command will love these two ludicrously large and unfeasibly unstable cream ghetto that I can barely keep a hold of. Oops, nearly tripped. Luckily, I didn't. Oh, uh oh, golden menace opportunity ahead! <laughs> uh, can't resist! Must menace! Whoa! <laughs> Thanks, Nasha. If I'd have tripped the colonel, I'd be caked in cake. <laughs> ah! The bus! <laughs> oh, next bus isn't here for another hour. Okay, Nasha. We're gonna have to make it there on skateboard. Oh, brilliant! It's snowing! <laughs> Nash? Hang on, that's not snow. That's Whoa! Oh, 
my beautiful gelatos. to get to school on time as if we go through uh, Peanut Town Park. Uh, uh, maybe I was wrong. As long as I stay on the path, nothing can make me dirty. Ladies and gentlemen, yes? I am happy to present the reenactment of the Battle of Beano Town. From the north came the invading Fulchester army who were armed with mud pies. <laughs> Brave Beano Town defenders who were armed with custard pies. Oh, what are the chances? Now watch the carefully choreographed reenactment of Beano Town's finest hour. <laughs> Next to have their photo taken, Dennis. Perhaps I should go next, Mrs. Creature. Something tells me Dennis won't be attending. <laughs> <laughs> what was that, Walter? Oh, uh, Dennis. <laughs> I didn't expect to see you. <laughs> Gosh, look at how clean you are. Yeah, no thanks to you. <laughs> Um, I'm sure this is all just a simple misunderstanding. Um, let's just shake on it. Nasha, Walter thinks we should shake. You know what? I agree. Would you do the honour? Nash, Nash. <laughs> Ready, Mrs. Creature. Uh, all right, Dennis. Smile and arms by your side, please. <laughs> on a timer, your picture will be taken in just ten seconds' time. But, oh, dearie me, I dropped my pen. Well, it's, uh, yeah, well, I, it, it is, I suppose. <laughs> so, no month of being grounded? <laughs> yes! Outside, Nasha! Time for a goo filled balloon fight! <laughs> 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 oh. Our lovely little boy. <laughs> Distract Nasha is go. <coughs> Nasha's going to love this. Nasha! <coughs> 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 what are you doing, Dennis? A big temptation. 
location, like the world's largest sausage, demands a big distraction. <laughs> My garden! large. Don't you worry, Walter. I told Dennis that if Nash so much as touches that giant sausage, it's the kennels for good. Oh, excellent policing. Indeed. Fun but fair. <laughs> Glorious! Oh, oh. <laughs> I did this to you. Um, Walter? <laughs> Sergeant Slipper! Sorry, never said anything about normal-sized sausages, which are very, very tasty, I might add. Ah, thanks, Walter. I couldn't have come up with a better distraction myself. Oh, Dennis! You won't get away with it. Oh! Oh! oh. <laughs> As I was saying, you won't get away with the... Uh, mm. <laughs> nice. huh. Hey, Butch, I just spoke to Chomp. They're sending their chop man. I can't believe it. Chomp, the coordinated headquarters for official meat products, are coming to judge my little old sausage. This little old sausage will put Beano Town on the map. <laughs> what? Uh, who, who elbows me? <gasps> Is everything okay? No. There's a massive bite! Yes, yes! Everything's fine! <laughs> oh, yes, that's... that's right. Everything is fine. I don't understand. Who could have gotten through the lasers? Wait a minute. This looks like an animal bite. Hmm. An agile animal with an insatiable appetite for sausages and the biggest jaws in Beano Town. But who? No, nope, I've got nothing. Uh, it's Nasha, obviously. Wait a minute. I've got it. It's Nasha, of course. Ah, oh, give me strength. <laughs> Didn't get your fill last night, eh, Nasha? Huh? Yes. Hey, what are you doing? Nasha is under arrest for biting Butch's giant sausage. One bite? There's no way it was Nasha then. He would have eaten the whole thing. Good thing he didn't. That's a potentially record-breaking sausage. Nash! Don't worry, Nasha. We'll have you out in no time. Meet me at the treehouse and bring your best moustache. One bite. No way that was Nasha. There'd be nothing left. Not to mention he was with me the whole night. Which can only mean one thing. <gasps> Nasha has an evil twin, like Paul. Oh, Nasha's been set up. And we're going to find out by who. Curly, how much do you know about the coordinated headquarters for official meat products? Ah, sorry, Mr. Man. We're not open to the public yet. C-H-O-M-P, Inspector. That's quite a sausage. <laughs> Step this way, gentlemen. We have some paperwork to fill in. Psst. Take a swab. <laughs> Time for Operation Bog. But I went before we left home. That's B O G. Bust out, Nasha. Oh, phew. <laughs> And then, of course, there was that huge brat verse from Bavaria. Yes. 
underpants. Scramble! Uh-oh! Underpants! Oh, but I only bought two pairs! Come on, Piper! It's underpants! <laughs> Okay, Nasha, this is the scent of the record-breaking sausage. Find the missing piece, and we find the culprit. Nasha! Uh, Nasha! Uh -oh. <laughs> Mr. Mayor, sir, this gentleman says he's from Chomp. Hear about the record. Lucky us, eh? Two in one day. Uh-oh. Come back here, you! Uh-oh! Nasha, unleash the fleas! Nice one, Nasha! Now, we flee! Hello, hello, Slipper! Yeah! Uh, it's me! Nasha! Got away! Nasha! Nasha! Walter! Of course it's Walter! It's always Walter! Hmm. Dennis! I thought that mutt of yours was locked up! Stop right there, Dennis! <laughs> oh, well done, Sergeant Slipper. Seize the giant sausage biter and his rascal of an owner immediately. Hang on. How does he know about the sausage being bitten? Oh. Yes, Walter. How do you know? <laughs> well, I mean, I just put two and two together. Uh, giant sausage <laughs> and Nasher on the loose. It's obvious. Run, Claudius. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Try, Walter. What? It's not inconceivable that he acted alone, is it? Okay, fine. I may have helped a little. Sorry, Nasha. As for you, Claudius, you're off to the kennel for a night. But, but there is no kennel for cats in Beano Town. I know. Who <laughs> <laughs> bad curries and did see this? <laughs> You can drop the act now. Uh, huh? Yeah, good thing they sent you out from HQ to help with the measuring. Not sure how I would have handled this on my own. <laughs> right. <laughs> Ooh, just a few millimetres off. Sorry, folks. Record remains. Well, I wanted a record. Oh, <laughs> oh man. Why? Why? Hang on. I'll give you a record. Got a stopwatch. Hello? <laughs> Unbelievable! We have a new giant sausage speed eating world record! Well done, Well done, Dennis! Your dog has put Beano Town on the map! <laughs> Oh, oh, that's disgusting. Mop boy, clean up on stage. of a postman preparing to pull. Uh, um, I must draw your attention to Postal Delivery Service Article 49B, Subsection 12, which expressly states... <laughs> 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 
What's Magnet Monthly? The only periodical exclusively about the hows and whys of magnetism, obviously. It's fascinating. Right. There's even less of Efficient Pockets Weekly, Fractions Quarterly, Ant Admirer and Collectible Placemats. Wow. Well, sir, I... I'm horrified. You shouldn't be inside reading boring magazines. You should be getting out and doing fun stuff. Nash is doing you a favour. A favour? Mm-hmm. Yeah. He's got you out of the house. You're getting fresh air, exercise, and Nash is getting exercise too. <laughs> and now his collection is just one sample short. Oh, what collection? <gasps> Within 24 hours, the world record for the largest collection of samples from post office issue underpants, held since 1908 by an unusually fast and snappy dash hunt, will be claimed by one Nasha Menace! Nasha! Hmm. Well, as you've clearly no intention of curbing your pooch's postal impropriety, I'll have to take postal matters into my own hands. Eh? You're gonna be a postman? Nash, Nash. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Nasha. <laughs> Walters doesn't count. But come tomorrow's post, you'll be the new title holder. Huh? We'll see about that. <laughs> ah, don't want to miss the big moment, eh, Walter? Oh, absolutely not. Today is the debut of the future of post delivery. Say hello to the Postatron. Huh? <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Postman? It's a prototype. All the traits of a human postal worker combined with robot efficiency. I first read about it in Stamps and Envelopes News. I told the post office I knew just the place to test it out. Splendid! Porridge enthusiast. I've been looking forward to you, my friend. Post? We've not had post for months. Poor Nasha. He's devastated. How can he bag the record for postal underpants samples when our robot postman doesn't wear pants? Could we put pants on it? It doesn't have legs. Could we put legs on it? Uh, well, no! We've got to get rid of the robot postman. We've got to get a real postman back so Nasha can claim that record. <laughs> and this is how we're going to do it. Me and Nasha will drive it, and when Nasha barks into the microphone inside, it'll sound like a hundred dogs. <laughs> At the sound of a hundred Nashers, any postman would like it. And as the Postatron is programmed to behave just like a postman... You've built a robot dog? Obviously. It's the only way to scare off a robot postman. We don't want you scaring off the robot postman. I like getting post. Here's a postcard from Gran. She's stranded in the Congo and needs us to send cash. Six months ago. Oh, that's why we haven't heard from her. And the Postatron has also finally delivered all your school reports. You're grounded. You can help us sort through all this post. Here's a power bill. Final demand. Huh? <laughs> right, you're doubly grounded. You and Nasha. But first, find some candles. But, but what about Nasha's record? <laughs> Good luck, Pie Face. Thanks, Dennis. Dennis, inside now. You're grounded. And sorting post. Oh, you're our eyes, Curly. Keep us updated. <laughs> <laughs> Hello? Is that the dog catcher? Hmm. I need you to bring your largest net. <laughs> Uh, 
have a problem. <gasps> uh, I have to go rescue Pie Face. He's been taken by the dog catcher. <sighs> Why does that sentence not surprise me? Dennis, you're not going anywhere till you finish sorting all that post. <laughs> What sort of sorting is that? It's all been sorted into a needs to be sorted pile. See ya! Another wild dog! Hey, aren't you our old postman? Your new dog catcher now! I'm chasing dogs! Oh, sweet revenge! Still, you must be miffed of robots doing your old job. That's the point. It's doing the job. Unlike me, it's fulfilling the postman's motto. Through rain or hail or snow, the post must get through. So, if the robot postman can't get through, they'll have to re-employ a proper postman. With pants! Yes, yes. Hello? Can I get out, please? Anyone? Surely the Postatron's prepared for rain, hail and snow, Dennis. Ah, it won't be expecting the menace variety, though. <laughs> Ready, menaces? Yes, Ready. a magazine called Magnet Monthly? I know. Free magnet with every issue. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Is that Magnet Monthly? Not one issue of my subscription has arrived all year. So, can you send them again? All at once? Brilliant. My name? It's Walter. <laughs> I suppose you menaces hope once again to disrupt the march of technology. No, you win, Walter. We've tried and we can't stop the Postatron. Ha! I knew you wouldn't be able to get the better of its superior robot brain. And Nasha felt so bad about ruining your magazines, so we're making up for it. A whole year's worth of Magnet Monthly, complete with free magnets, is arriving today. You don't expect me to believe that, do you? It's true. I give you a postal marvel with news of the marvel of magnetism in bulk! <laughs> You're right, Walter. Magnetism is marvellous! <laughs> <laughs> your old job back? Yes. Apparently, the Postatron had a few glitches to iron out. Well, something like that. Still, at least Nash is not around today, so I can deliver the mail in peace. <laughs> He's behind me, isn't he? Yeah. Nash! Hello, woofing dog. Congratulations. A new record. Do you have any idea what this will do for Beano Town? No. Neither do I. So, what's next for our champion then? <laughs> Apparently, he has his eye on the record for samples from Mare's underpants. Oh, well. <laughs> Sport of intel, old chap. Possibly a tad late. He doesn't like double glazing. Or salesman. Just be thankful you're not wearing spotty underpants. Ah. 
It wasn't me. I wasn't there. You can buy them red and black striped jumpers in any high street. Wait, eh? Colonel? What's wrong? There's a bar. Oh. Two words. First word, spotty. Second word, <laughs> underpants. <laughs> well, at least her dad's not back yet. <laughs> Dennis! What on earth? And now we have to get the whole house double glazed just to buy off that salesman. You can't deny it, Dennis. That dog is getting worse. Rubbish. He's becoming a real problem. Oh. Nah. Boredom. That's what it is. Oh. You don't even know this was Nasher. Could have been rats, mice. He's bored, Dennis. He's got no one to play with while you're at school. <laughs> Something has to be done. <gasps> Dad, you're a genius. Curly, Dad says I have to get a new pet to keep Nasha company. Eh, hey, what? I didn't say that. Meet you at the pet shop in ten. Okay, we're done here. The Nasha friendly pet pal does not exist. It's a myth, a fairy tale. A <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Seriously, Nasha, this is the one. There's just something about him. <laughs> Say hello to the Abyssinian wirefin piranha. <laughs> Oh, oh. Nash proof glass with titanium lid and integral oxygen supply. Nice. What does genius wear, boys? A, A striped right jumper, jumper, Dennis. Ah, there you are, lads. Status report 1600 hours. Operation Pet Pal, a complete success. Zero casualties, minimal collateral damage. Oops, bagged and tagged. Two, in fact. Um, great. Thanks, Colonel. Could be time for rations then, eh? I wonder what piranhas like to eat. <coughs> so, basically anything, yeah? Pretty much. Let's see. The Abyssinian wirefin piranha is almost completely omnivorous. However, <clears throat> under no circumstances whatsoever should this fish ever be fed a... Uh, what? <coughs> eyes. As they have been known to cause a... Uh, what? Extreme flatulence. <laughs> Mother, I may have to insist on fewer sprouts at dinner tonight. Ah! Ah! What on earth? Okay, Walter, stay very calm. There's no easy way to say this, but there's a hungry flesh-eating fish in your bath. Actually, that was pretty easy. Respect, Curly. Cheers, Dennis. I try. Are you all insane? Get out at once before I call the police. <laughs> <laughs> There you go. No harm done, eh? 
Once again, Walter, I am so sorry about this. Well, I do sincerely appreciate your cooperation in this matter. And we sincerely appreciate you not suing us without mercy till we end up homeless, destitute and scavenging for scraps in dustbins. Not at all. Maybe they can have a moment to say goodbye, though, eh? Don't be absurd. Disgusting thing. Deserves everything it gets. Chop, chop. <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> hey, are we smooth or what? And this year's award for outstanding performance in a fish-themed rescue caper goes to... Nasha! <laughs> Nash Nash! <laughs> oh. oh, no, I shouldn't. Well, I'm sure heart can't hurt. Oh, at least you can't escape this time. Long as nobody ever finds out we've still got the piranha, we have absolutely nothing to worry about. Um, Dennis. came over to, uh, say sorry. Yep, that's it. Right. Sorry, Walter. Sorry, Walter. <gasps> uh, what are you doing? Um, Pie Face, he just wants to give you a really sorry hug. Duh! Get out before I call the police. Oh, pardon me. Bad pie. Oh, 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 oh that's not oh. you. <laughs> You are all disgusting. I need to use the lavatory. You will all be gone by the time I come out, or else. <sighs> OK, where'd the fish go? What's up there, Curly? Uh, that would be the lavatory. <sighs> of course it would. <laughs> There's no toilet paper! <laughs> to buy toilet paper, and if you are still here when I get back, you will taste my wrath. Oh, nice. I like a bit of soup. Wrath, not broth. <laughs> OK, let's go get that fish. <gasps> OK, we all clear on the plan. Um, catch the fish? I didn't say it was a fancy plan. to see him every day. Nash, Nash! <laughs> Nash! So you won't get into trouble gnashing stuff when I'm at school. I know you've still got that fish. Sorry, Walter. Don't know what you're talking about. I know it, and I'm going to prove it. You see if I don't, and what I... Do... <laughs> Nash, Nash! <laughs> the 
special delivery. One new tiger. Extra stripy, extra ferocious, as requested. Can, uh, can someone just sign for this? Hey, Nasha? Nash. Not this morning, Dennis. I'm off to the library. You're in charge till Gran gets here, so behave. No TV and no disasters. Reno Town was plagued by the volcano of crispy, crunchy doom. Everybody ran in terror from the lava, only to be overtaken by the milk tsunami. <laughs> disasters? Check. Now, hey, hey. <laughs> Being in charge is brilliant! How'd you like the sofa, Nasha? <laughs> <laughs> I wonder when Gran will get here. We interrupt this program with a news flash. A tiger has escaped from Beano Town Zoo. Earlier, I spoke to Sergeant Slipper, who's on the scene. Ah, well, we do have the matter under control, of course. So, do you know where the tiger is, Sergeant? Uh, no. No, not exactly, but Beano Town's best animal tracker, Parky Bowles, is on the case. And how do you intend to trap the tiger, Mr Bowles? Uh, well, a trapper never tells his secrets, so mind your own business. Sergeant Slipper, do you have any advice for our viewers whilst this animal is at large? Yes, yes I do. I'm ordering Beano Town to be in immediate lockdown. This tiger is dangerous. Everyone must stay indoors. I repeat, stay indoors. Everyone must stay indoors. Stay indoors, eh, Nasha? Nash! Gran. Nash! Nash! Oh, yeah, yeah. Right, kids, come watch the Grandmeister. I'm on the last level of Golden Belt and I will not rest until I've won. Gran, there's a tiger on the loose and me and Nasher are going to catch it today. We'll be heroes. That's nice, Dennis. I join you, but I'm babysitting. Hi. Yeah. All clear. Stay alert, Nasha. The tiger could be anywhere. Nash! Nasha! Nasha! Go, go, go! Ah, tiger! Eh? You! Don't you know there's a dangerous animal on the loose? Yes, and he's ready to catch a tiger. <laughs> you couldn't catch a cold. Of course, tracking animals in the wild comes naturally to a military man like myself. <laughs> At ease, men. That is a lockdown. And another medal for bravery in the field for me. There are three essential stages of tiger stalking, track, beat, and capture. However, I shall be deploying Operation Hedgehog Defense. Don't tigers eat hedgehogs? Yes, yes, I suppose they do. Hi oh, Don't worry, baby, dear. Gran's just playing. <laughs> Slowly does it. Gotcha! And Nash! Yes! Our tiger catcher works! Nash! Nash! Now all we need is bait. Pies? Pizza? Hmm. Dennis! Haven't you heard the news? Or do you need a grown up to explain it to you? Come on! Don't you want to help me catch a tiger, Walter? No, I don't. Turn it. Oh, that's a shame. I could have done with some bait. <laughs> There's a tiger on the loose! And we're gonna catch it! Ha <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Ha 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 
bunker! Come on! Look! Tiger hunting's awesome! Are you kidding, Dennis? We're not allowed out. I can't even get home. Looks like it's boy against beast. Aww. Oh, sorry, Nasha. It's boy and hound against beast. And what if beast finds boy first and eats him? Ha! Nothing can stomach the menace. I'm indigestible. You really think the tiger's round here? Look! Nasha's definitely got the scent. Eh, uh, are you sure it's not just me dad's pies he's smelling? <laughs> <laughs> Here, you need to look for paw prints, broken twigs, and animal droppings in open green spaces. Oh, so glad tigers are vegetarian, Paul. Come on, Pyface. Let's go count Paul's eyes again. Good luck, Dennis. Come on, Nasha. Let's go catch us a big cat. <laughs> in my park. One foot in that, and the tiger is mine. <laughs> Bet. <laughs> then we wait. <laughs> Nasha! Huh? <gasps> hey, you! Get away from my tiger trap! Ha! <laughs> Call that a tiger trap? Any tiger worth his stripes would see that a mile away. Hey, don't you know you're talking to Beaner Town's finest animal trapper? And trapping this animal is exactly what I'm doing. Yeah, we'll see about that. If anyone's going to catch that tiger, it's me and Nasha. <laughs> Look, son, why don't you and your mutt get yourselves off home and... <laughs> no, what are you doing? <laughs> get off! That's <laughs> finest rump <laughs> steak! Fire. Cover anything in green paint? Or ketchup? Nope. Gran, they locked you in a cupboard, didn't they? Yeah. No. What? No disasters at all? I honestly haven't heard a peep out of them. And calm was restored to Beano Town today after dramatic events at the zoo. Incredible scenes here as a young brother and sister and an Abyssinian wirehead tripound returned the wild sea lion to its cage. This fearless crew, branded the Tiger Trio, have surely earned their stripes. Dennis! An angry mum's the only wild creature we should be afraid of. Run! Run! <laughs> 